Fans certainly got their money's worth on Saturday. The Crimson needing three overtime to knock off Holy Cross on the road. Now they head back out on the road for a tough Ivy League test at Cornell. I'm Eric Steckling, and I caught up with head coach Tim Murphy to talk about the upcoming matchup against the Big Red. So, Coach, a big back-and-forth game on Saturday. You know, kind of came down to the wire there. You guys found a way to win it, though, at the end. Talk about the resolve your team showed and what that win meant to you guys. Yeah, I think the greatest thing about our team right now, just tremendous character, uh, great leadership from the senior class, Captain Boyd. You know, every game we've had some adversity, and every game we've responded, and this was obviously the ultimate. You know, we had to go 85 yards just to get into overtime, uh, struggle offensively all day, and then put four consecutive touchdown drives together. Yeah, you talked about that 85-yard drive just to tie it. You know, Connor Hempel leading the way. Obviously, Stanton, that had a big day. A lot of big uh, plays and big star performances on the offensive end. Yeah, I think Paul Stanton kind of had a breakout game. We thought, he, you know, that he's a tremendous athlete, but uh, to see how physical, to see what a kind of versatile back he is has really helped. He had 103 yards. He had five, certainly uh, five catches, 55 yards. Did a great job blocking and obviously hit the big play of the day at the end. That big play, you know, at the end of regulation sends you guys into overtime. Do you think that carried you through with the momentum to finally pull out the win? Well, we needed momentum after momentum after momentum because uh, it was such a, an unpredictable uh, overtime. But to get three touchdowns on three consecutive drives in overtime was really a great way to finish. And now we look ahead to Cornell. They are coming off a loss at home, but they're a team that primarily has been one that's been passing the ball through the air, you know, getting about 90% of their yards. How do you prepare for their aerial attack? Well, it's really hard to because you're talking about one of the preeminent quarterbacks in the country, a kid that I believe will be an NFL player in Jeff Matthews. Uh, he's starting his 33rd consecutive game, and I think if, if you're an outsider looking in, and as Cornell is saying, well, I don't know, they had a freshman quarterback throw for 355 against Harvard. I think they're excited to play. I'm sure we'll respond, but it's going to be a challenge because he's one of those guys that if you're not fit in every zone or man coverage, if you're not getting any kind of pressure, or if you're being consistently in one coverage, he's going to pick your heart. So we're going to have to mix it up, we're going to have to get pressure, and we're going to have to get some takeaways. And finally, Coach, you know, you've seen every school in the league multiple times now, but Coach Archer starting his new regime over there at Cornell, did that kind of make preparation a little more difficult this week? Well, again, we don't have, a, obviously, a playbook on these guys. We don't have any history, so we're going off just a couple of games. So I'm, I'm sure they have a lot more in their playbook, a lot more in their arsenal than we've seen so far, but uh, we'll be prepared. All right. Good luck, Coach. Thank you.